Bonjour les amis, I am uh, Chef Richard and welcome to my kitchen. Today you will learn how to prepare a tasty French chicken in a pot without the pot. Instead, you'll learn how to prepare a tasty French chicken in an oven bag. The name of this French chicken is Poulet en Coquette. In the following lesson, you'll learn how to convert the leftovers from the French chicken into a delicious Milligan stew. The advantages of cooking in an oven bag are twofold. The chicken is steamed in the veggie juices, and the veggies are steamed in the chicken juices. It's almost a one-pot meal. The browning bag does not dry out the breast meat and leaves the celery and carrots crisp and provides juices meat and vegetables for the Milligan stew. My cooking method was adapted from the America Test Kitchen's recipe, which they called chicken in a pot, meaning they cooked it in a Dutch oven for a long time. And they adopted their cooking method from a Parisian chef's called poulet en coquette. In my cooking method, you will trade the Dutch oven for a large oven bag, Use a large quantity, i.e. boku, root vegetables, but cook in a microwave oven on high for only 40 to 45 minutes. The advantages of using my method of cooking the French chicken are, number one, it's fast. It only takes 30 minutes to prepare and 40 minutes to cook. Secondly, the flavors are wonderful. The chicken steams in the veggie juices and the veggies cook in the chicken juices. It's a one-pot meal, that's number three, and you can use what's left for additional meals, or you can add more vegetables, making a mulligan stew for wonderful take-to-work lunches. It's healthy and it's tasty. The only downside is that you may have to use some freezer space to store the leftover mulligan stew. In this lesson, you are presented with two goals. The first is to prepare a healthy dinner for you and or your family. And the second is to turn the leftovers into inexpensive, healthy, and delicious lunches. Your first objective is to pre-plan a Sunday dinner and a week of healthy lunches. Your second objective is to learn how to use a Reynolds oven bag in a microwave oven. Your third objective is to know that you can serve your French chicken and vegetables over brown rice or quinoa. Your fourth objective is to know that you can process the leftovers from your French chicken into a delicious Milligan stew for lunches or quick dinners. Here's a checklist of the nine or ten tools you'll need to cook your French chicken. You won't need the cooking pot or can opener until you attempt the mulligan stew. In the next five slides, we'll show you the ingredients for the French chicken recipe. First, we start with the French chicken. Well, it's not really French, it's probably an American chicken, but it'll be French by the time we get finished with it. Remember to allow plenty of thawing time and remove any plastic bags with giblets from the cavity. We need an onion chopped, and we also need six slender carrots, so they cook through and through. Next, you'll need a head of celery, six medium cloves of garlic, and three bay leaves. Cut two medium sprigs of fresh rosemary from your herb garden, then add one cup of lemon juice from concentrate, or the juice from one lemon. Adding salt and pepper is optional. I don't use it because I like the natural flavors of the chicken and the root vegetables. Keep in mind that the celery has a great deal of sodium in it. To get started, assemble your tools. The cutting board, chef's and paring knife, carving fork for lifting the chicken, deep-sided microwavable dish, the browning bag and tie, a three-quart Tupperware bin, a four to five quart cooking pot and can opener. Those last two are for the mulligan stew. Wash the head of celery and cut off the dry exposed tops. Hold the head in one hand while you slice bite-sized pieces with a chef knife with the other. 
If your hands are small, cut off the last inch of the root end and then slice each stalk lengthwise, making it smaller. Then chop into bite-sized pieces. Add the pieces to the oven bag. Cut the onion in half, then lay it on its flat side and slice into thin strips. Holding the strips together with one hand, turn the half onion 90 degrees and slice it again. The onion's natural layers will do the rest. Then add the pieces to the oven bag. Select and wash five or six slender carrots. Cut off both ends, then cut into two inch lengths. Finally, cut each carrot in half with a chef's knife. If you can't split the carrots in half, chop them in quarter inch rounds. Add the pieces to the oven bag. Peel six cloves of garlic and cut off the root end. Then cut into quarters and add the pieces to the oven bag. Next, add the rosemary and crumble three bay leaves. Then add the pieces to the oven bag. Finally, remove the chicken from the thawing water and take out the giblets located in the cavity. Next, place the chicken breast side up in the oven bag and add more rosemary. Compress the air out of the oven bag and gather the excess in one hand. Place the nylon tie around the excess bag and pull it tight. With the paring knife, puncture two or three steam holes in the top of the bag. Puncturing lower on the bag may allow juices to escape. Place the chicken in the oven bag in the microwave. Cook on high for 40 minutes. If the microwave does not rotate the chicken, turn it 180 degrees after 20 minutes of cook time. When done, remove the nylon tie carefully. The escaping steam is super hot. Peel back the oven bag and check the legs and breast meat for doneness. If necessary, retie the oven bag and cook for an additional five minutes on high. Repeat until done. Use the carving fork to remove the chicken from the oven bag. Place the fork in the chicken cavity and tilt upwards, lifting the chicken onto a plate or platter. Let the chicken cool before carving. The breast meat should be juicy with no signs of blood in the juice. When the vegetables are sufficiently cooled, lift the oven bag by one corner and pour the juice and vegetables into the deep-sided dish or a two-quart Tupperware container. Finally, serve the vegetables over quinoa or brown rice. You can serve leftover French chicken or you can add more vegetables to make a delicious Milligan stew, which will be covered in our next lesson. Chicken in a bag is a quick, easy, inexpensive, and delicious meal. Enjoy your new skills of cooking in an oven bag. And thank you for visiting Chez Richard. Au revoir.